what is the best way to learn Blender in 2025? They ask me this shit all the time on Instagram and they make videos about this shit all the time on YouTube. And anytime you see one of these videos, they got a bunch of views, more views than anything else. But I already know my video is not going to get any views because I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. And I'm not going to put no flashy thumbnail on there with nothing crazy. And I'm not going to be talking about fucking add-ons and Blender updates and graphics cards and shit like that. Like everybody else is talking about. I'm going to tell you what you don't want to hear, but you have to hear. Okay, so this is for the people who understand that if you want to develop a skill, if you actually want to get good at something... It's not going to be fun. You're going to have to put in work day in and day out. It's going to be a fucking headache. So this is for the big boys. This is for the grown-ups, okay? It's not going to be a fun video. The whole process is not going to be very pleasurable when you stick to it every single day, day in, day out. I promise you that, okay? So listen, the first thing that you have to understand before you start even learning Blender, okay? You got to figure out what is it that you actually want to get good at, all right? I know you just told me Blender, but that's not specific enough. Because Blender's got so many different features. I've been using this fucking program for 10 years. And every other day, somebody tells me about a tool and I've never heard about this shit before, okay? It's a vast program. There's a bunch of different things you can do with it. It's the same as the field of medicine. It's a very broad field. If you want to become a medical expert, you got to pick a field that you want to specialize in. Do you want to be a dentist? Do you want to be a gynecologist? What is it that you want to specialize in? So in Blender, this is called picking a niche. You got to figure out, do you want to become a character artist? Do you want to sculpt characters from movies? Do you want to make guns for video games? Do you want to make environments for video games? Do you want to do product visualization, architectural visualization? What is it that you want to specialize in? What is it that you actually want to be good at? This is what you have to decide on first before you start thinking about how to actually get good at Blender, how to do the learning. Because the learning path for each of these different disciplines that I just named. And there's a million others. You can go ask ChatGPT, what are some fields of expertise for some fields that I can specialize in as a 3D artist in Blender 3D? If you need some more ideas, go ask fucking ChatGPT. But the path in pursuing every one of these different areas is very different. So make sure you pick a niche before you do anything else, before you even start, before you even open the program. Just figure out what you want to do first, okay? Now, step number two. And I'm going to give you a couple of steps for this. I always tell people the first thing you got to do before you start thinking about making any projects or watching Aryan's 45 minute assault rifle modeling tutorial or anything crazy like that. You have to make sure to properly familiarize yourself with the software because there's a lot of different tools in Blender. And guess what's going to happen if you open up one of my videos when I'm making a gun. I'm using tools that if you're a beginner, or even if you're an intermediate, a lot of times you've never heard of these tools before, okay? But I can't sit there and stop the video and explain every single tool I'm using for 10 minutes because then the video would last for four days and then nobody would watch my fucking video, okay? So I just speed run the model and then you're left there scratching your head and you're going to pause the video, watch it again, and you're going to do some Googling, watch another tutorial and you skip five seconds and you come to the next part and I'm using another tool that you never heard of and it's just a pain in the ass. It becomes impossible to follow tutorials which guide you through projects. So don't worry about no projects. Familiarize yourself with the tools first. And then when you watch one of my videos or anybody else's video, any tool that you're going to see used there, you already know about this tool now. So you're like, okay, cool. I can follow along with this tutorial. I know what to do. I know what the fucking 3D cursor is. I know what proportional editing means. All right. So you're not going to have any trouble following tutorials if you properly familiarize yourself with the program first. And if you want to speed this step up, that's why I wrote my ebook. I kind of explained every single tool and feature that I ever use for modeling inside of Blender in my ebook. Okay, so you can check that out. There's a link below if you don't want to go Googling all this shit yourself. But if you don't want to buy nothing, okay, if you're fucking broke, you can go to Blender, open it up right now and just go to object mode or go to edit mode and just hover your mouse over all the different buttons and menus and features. And if you hover over a feature or a button for a few seconds, it's going to tell you the name of that tool. And then you can just Google it or find a tutorial and just make a list. Study this shit like you're in school. You're trying to become a professional. You want to be good at this, right? Okay, so take it seriously. Make some notes. Go watch some tutorials for as many different tools as you can. Practice them every single day. Go over them. It's not going to take you but two hours a day. Maybe you need a week to go through all this shit. Maybe. I'm, I'm exaggerating. You probably don't even need that much, okay? But just spend at least a couple of days or spend maybe a week, depending on how much time you got per day to invest into this shit. Spend a little bit of time just familiarizing yourself with all the different tools. And now you can start worrying about 
making some real projects, okay? And this is gonna be step number three. You're gonna follow some project tutorials. Don't worry about making your own projects yet because if you make your own projects at this point, you're definitely going to fuck it up, I promise you. Now, once you're familiar with the tools, now when you open up Aryan modeling a fucking Marshall amplifier or whatever it is, I don't know, I got a million tutorials on my channel just making random shit, okay? Now when you watch me do something, now you know what the 3D cursor means. You know what UV unwrapping means. You know what a normal map is. You know what baking means. You know what topology means. You know what an end gone is. You know what an end pole is. You know what an E pole is, okay? So now it's going to be much easier to follow these tutorials. So let's say you decided to be a character artist, okay? Like my friend Ishak. By the way, I just challenged him to make Xenomorph in Blender. So go tell him to do it because it's gonna be pretty fucking hard, but it's gonna be pretty fucking cool too if he actually does it, all right? Let's say you decided to be a character artist, all right? Well, now you got to watch five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 tutorials that are going to guide you through the process of creating some characters. And if you go through 10 tutorials and each tutorial lasts, I don't know, 30 minutes, don't watch the five minute tutorials, watch the 30, 40, 50, uh, 60 minute tutorials that are going to give you a whole lesson, walk you through the entire process. If you watch one of these tutorials per day, let's say, and you do this for seven days or 14 days, it only took you one or two weeks, and you got so many projects under your belt that now you're familiar with the whole fucking workflow, okay? So now you understand how to do the references, you understand how they do the modeling, you understand how they handle their topology, you understand how they do the block out, you understand how they do the texturing, how they do the baking, how they do the lighting, the rendering, you understand all the different steps. So if you gotta recreate it yourself now, you can do it yourself, you know how the game works now, okay? So once you spend a couple of days or a couple of weeks going through some real projects, now you can start thinking about how you're going to do your own projects, okay? And this is where shit gets for real. Let's say this is what, step number four, okay? Now, once you're familiar with how other people do it now, you can start thinking about how you're going to make your own projects, okay? So you watch 10 tutorials. Now, I don't know, you're doing characters, and the next character you're going to make is going to be fucking Neo from The Matrix, okay? Well, now I can promise you, even though you watched 10 tutorials, you spent two weeks watching tutorials, you did everything right, you make all your notes and all this shit, I absolutely guarantee you, unless you're a genius of some sort, unless you're some sort of prodigy, I guarantee you that you're going to fuck up a few times and it's going to, a lot of people quit because of this shit, okay? It's really going to shake you to the core when you fuck up. You'll spend so much time, but you still can't make your own character, okay? This is why you need to get feedback from somebody, okay? Now, this is exactly why we made the Digillion Hands Club, where we got like 100 people, we got a full blender course, you can talk to me, you can talk to people like Ishak, everybody's trying to become a professional, everybody's learning, so you can get some feedback to your work, but you don't have to pay uh, for a course, you don't have to pay. If you're broke, you don't need any of this shit, okay? We live in a time, you can go to Reddit. Reddit fucking hates me, but I listen, I'm a, I'm a Christian, okay? So I don't hold no grudges. You can go to Reddit right now, and you can make a post there and say, hey, give me some feedback or go to a Facebook group or something. Just ask for some feedback on your work. And they're going to tell you, this is good. This shit sucks. Okay. A lot of times they're not going to be honest with you because that's how Reddit is. Reddit tells you if you're a fat piece of shit, it's okay. You should love yourself. You're still beautiful. It's okay. Don't listen to R. You don't, don't listen to bullies. Okay. These people live in the old times. These people are living in the 80s when bullying was still a thing. So... <laughs> So Reddit doesn't want to bully you, so they might not tell you the truth, which is why you want to, you might want to be careful with what kind of community you're choosing, all right? But just make sure that you're getting enough feedback on your work so that people can tell you if you fuck up, because chances are you're going to fuck up somewhere, and you're not even going to know where you fucked up, okay? So, so for some reason, your model is just going to look terrible, or maybe you, you fucked up the way that you started your project. It was completely wrong, okay? And now, only once you're getting near the end, now this mistake is going to start bothering you, but you don't know it because you don't have enough experience to recognize this mistake early. This is why you need somebody with experience to tell you what to do, to give you some feedback, to criticize your work a little bit, okay? And now, you're going to have to do this, this meaning your own project, for a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, okay? Let's say you want to choose, let's say you want to invest one week at a time per project, you better make five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those projects. Because by the time you make ten of those projects, let's say it took you five days per project or a week per, uh, per project, you made, I don't know, four of them or eight of them. That's two months of work. So, so far you spend a week learning about the tools. What do we say then? And then you spent like a week or two watching some tutorials. And then you spend some time uh, making your own projects. All right. 
So right now we're maybe two, three months in, and now you're already at a level where you've been through so much. If you've committed yourself to this shit correctly, effectively, every single day, you've done your work, you've done your due diligence, you've stayed consistent. You got so much experience that you can probably qualify for jobs. Now, I know this sounds hard to believe to you, but a lot of people are going to say, no, there's no way because I've been doing it for 10 years and I never had a single client. I never had a job or opportunity or anything like that. I'm still dreaming about this. That's because those people are fucking amateurs in life, okay? Because those people don't know how to organize themselves and allocate their energy and time into something. If you do this shit efficiently, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to develop a new skill in three or six months at most, okay? I understand some people got full-time work, but if you're in school right now, okay, and you come home from school, what do you? how come you got time to play video games every single day? Okay, how come you got time to smoke weed or go out and watch football? How you got time for that, but you don't got time to do what I'm telling you to do right now. Okay, so don't bullshit me. Either you want to do this or you don't want to do this. But by the time you go through the steps that I just described to you, okay, you're going to have enough level that you can probably start qualifying for jobs. And now, I don't want to start talking about building portfolios and networking and content creation and industry connections and all this shit and how to make a cv and how to do outreach and how to get people to reach out to you and branding and building websites and uh, all this other shit i don't want to talk to you about that in this video that's a totally different subject we can talk about that if in another video a little bit more extensively if somebody's interested let me know in the comments okay but that's all i got for you in this one so let me know what you want to see next and i'll see you in the next one